Hey guys, what's going on? You guys seem to like the top five superstars to trade for, so I think we're gonna make this a series. I think I, I we're just gonna keep on building on this. So uh, we're gonna keep on calling it the top five, but we're just gonna add different top five people each time. So I'm not gonna use the same people or anything like that. So yeah, we'll just trade for more people. So maybe you know we'll end up trading for all the superstars towards the end. But to start out here, so. Let's go ahead and try to trade for a little Jamal Adams, you know? Everybody needs a nice little safety in their life. He's the only 24, so this would be a real nice safety to pick up. He's, he's a 91 overall X-Factor already. So what do they need? Yeah, they need a guard, an end as well. We can throw in a wide receiver. They were a bit interested in Zach Pascal, So we'll throw him in. We do have a right guard as well in Glowinski. We'll throw him in. See, just like that. Like, look, we give up a 74 overall guy and a 73 overall guy, and there's two green. And that's, I mean, that's near happening. I think a first would make that go down. And for my other uh, top five superstars, first are super easy to trade for. I'll show you guys once in this uh, top five how easy they're to trade for. But, yeah, we'll see if a second gets it done. And if not, I'm pretty sure a first will. You just gotta play with them a little bit. See if you can snipe them a little bit. Yeah, see, a first should definitely get it done. So throw a first in here. That'll likely get it done here. For Jamal, barely declined. So it looks like we're gonna have to get a bit higher of a first. So I guess this is a good start. A good spot to start. So instead of the 25th pick, we probably need a bit higher. So we'll get on that. Alright, so let's go after that Bears number two overall pick here. So we're obviously going to have to give up our first. Well, you know what? I'll show you how easy it is without even giving up our first. So let's see. What Can we give up a quarterback? Do they want Jacoby? I mean, see. I mean, look. That's how easy it is to trade for a first. They're not even interested in him. And look at how far the red bar moves. I mean, I know it's not, like, close. But that's just for a two-star guy. Um, so Let's see if we can throw something else in here. Maybe this guy. Okay, that's not going to work with him. Cornerback, it's going to likely have to be. You need to probably get at least one green in there. I mean, Xavier Rhodes is 30. He's a 74 overall. Still not interested. All right, let's see what corner they may be interested in. Hey, you know what? They might want to white out. What about um, Marcus Johnson? Nope. Okay, so I think we're just going to have to throw in a um, a corner. Like Rocky Sin. Or we could even likely just sign a free agency corner. But just for the time, we'll just throw in Rocky Sin. You can see it's green. 75 overall corner. Look at how close it is to going through already. Then we'll just throw in like a fourth pick and that should get it done. Now obviously, I think I'm, I'm, I'm definitely trading more than I would have to here. I'm just not, you know, signing a free agent cornerback or something like that to make it go a little bit um, easier without having to pay as much just for time for you guys. But you guys can see just how easy it is to get first round picks here. I have to throw them in a third here. So we just give up Jacoby 71, 75 overall corner, third round pick. And we get the number two overall pick in that draft and we want to go back and get that trade done for jamal so yeah that's that's usually what you have to do for a trade you're usually likely i mean sometimes your first round pick isn't as high sometimes it's just you know they they're just not as interested in a 20th one so we'll go ahead and put the exact same people we had in glowinski the wide receiver zach pascal also throw in that first round pick as well that we just picked up and that'll get it done for Jamal. And there it is. So you get Jamal Adams there. That'll be our first one. We got four more to go here. All right, another juicy trade here. I mean, a juicy trade. Let's get into it. Um, It's going to be for the Broncos. If you guys are new here, though, please make sure you hit that sub button if you already are not subscribed. Drop a lot of Madden 21 rebuilds, you know, franchises. We're doing the Panthers one. Uh, I do these top five superstars to trade for. Just like to drop tutorials, anything like that. Doing a UFC 4 career mode as well. So make sure you guys do hit that sub button. Really would be appreciated. We're going to trade for Vaughn here. So one of the better pass rushers in the game. 97 overall. Fearmonger. 
pass rusher. Nothing like that. So let's go ahead and trade for him. So this is a very good trade to get done. It, it costs nothing. Hey, it costs nothing. So what you got to give up is just a defensive tackle, Autry. He's 30. Not going to use him. And then we only have to give up a middle linebacker as well. And the thing about them is the middle linebacker doesn't have to be great. Like, you can just throw in a random one. And you can see it's green. So you get double greens. And it goes through, guys. It goes through. That's one of the crazier trades to me. You got to give up a 76 overall DT. 72 overall middle linebacker. And you get Vaughn. That's, that's a crazy trade to me. So that's going to be the second one for you guys. Right, we're going to attempt to go after Joey here. The Chargers are interested in Phillips and Lee. And they're not going to be hard to get at all. I mean, it's a safety 78 overall and a 77 overall wide receiver. So it's both green here for the Chargers. So we'll see how close that is to getting done just for that for Nick. I mean, Joey. All right, it's still in the red there. See if we're going to add something else in. So they need a left tackle. All right, don't really want to give up a win there. Don't have a quarterback extra. We're already giving up a safety. What about DT? And they might be interested in this Bu Allen. Yeah, they are. Green interest level there. See, that's very much. So I don't. Okay. So maybe it's the whiteout they don't need. Maybe we have throw in a first round pick as well. So see, are so easy to come by here. All right, declined. Okay, it's it's close. It's close. I feel like if we get another first round pick, it'll happen. We'll see who they're more interested in. Okay, yeah, I feel like a high first round pick could get it done. So we're gonna trade for a fairly high one. I'm going for like the number one overall one this time. All right, so let's go after this F Jaguars first round pick here. We got a left outside linebacker to give up. Don't know if they'll be interested. Probably not, but still we'll see. Nope. Alright, so what about a right tackle? Obviously don't want to give up that free safety we're already trading. So we'll probably just have to give up picks here. Third, see how close that is. We're gonna have to get some kind of a green level in here. That's really what ramps it up. I mean... Throw in maybe Bird, see if they're interested in him. Nope. But I feel like they might be interested in a running back we have. That's a nice way to get it to green real quick. Or at least a yellow. Yeah, see, I mean, just getting something of a player they need. Look at how much that ramps it up. All right, let's just throw in another second round pick. We could probably fleece them even harder, but... Trying to get this done. So we got that other first round pick. We're going to have to back out. It's glitched. And you got to go back in there. Alright. So let's go ahead and trade for him. So let's go ahead and... Find the team we were going after. Chargers. Alright. Throw back in that free safety we had. And then both those first picks... I mean, I know this might be a mighty lot. It looks like we're giving up. But you guys seen how easy it is to trade for first-round picks. All right, get Joey as well. This should get it done. Yeah, it does. So we get we trade Phillips' first-round pick in the 17th overall pick for Joey. Wanted to add another pass rusher in there. So that is going to be the third one. We still got two more remaining. But, uh, yeah, I know it might be a bit high. But, like I said, it's very easy to trade for first-round picks. All right, now, obviously, right tackles are super important. So, we're going to give up Davis, a cornerback we already had. And then a middle linebacker. Just, I mean, just positions they needed. Just really went through our guys. Looked what was the lowest overall and worked up from there. And then just found these greens. So, we'll see what these get us for Mitchell Swartz so far. Oh, that's accepted. Wow. Okay, I can't believe how easy it is to trade for O-Lineman. Sorch is the best right tackle in the league. He's got the abilities you would want. Edge protector and stuff all day, I believe. So that's very big to trade a cornerback in Davis. And then a middle linebacker in Perryman. Just for Mitchell Sorch. So, it's. I mean, this has been a... It's been a decent trade period so far, if I do say so myself. Alright, we still got one more to go, though. Alright, I'd like to end it here going after a very nice pass rusher. So I didn't really go pass rusher the first top five. 
So I think we'll try to go after Grady Jarrett. He's always a nice defensive tackle to try to get. So we're going to give up Kennard. Again, not a great overall player. And Gilbert, not a great overall player. So we'll see what that gets us alone for it. All right, a first-round pick should get this done. If not with ours, we could trade for a higher one. As you guys see now, yeah, how easy it is. That does get it done. So that is the fifth and final player here. So let me know if you guys are enjoying this series, want to see more of it. So, I mean, I, I what I would plan on do is just continue adding on five players each time. So obviously not the same. But just keep on adding superstars in to trade for it. Eventually, you know, we might get all the superstars in there. Um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy, please make sure you hit that sub button. That would be greatly appreciated. Really appreciate all the support lately. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell as well. Catch you guys next time. Peace out.